Hello guys, today we are going to make more advanced feature with i18 next for our multi-language React application. Uh, in our last video, we made our application up to here. So if we click Korean, uh, it becomes Korean. And if we click the Chinese, it becomes Chinese. If we come to our text editor here, so we had our language JSON file so depends on the language so we can have this one a like English or a Korean or a Chinese so we made up to this part but I've, I've got some question uh, that is about the how to change our language um, by using the curry instead of clicking this one if I just type my EN in here so it will change into the English if so if I type the CHI in here as a query it will change into Chinese so and then the second question was the how can we bring our browser language in here and when we first uh, turn on the page we will show the text with the browser language so that's what we are going to do today so actually it will be really easy so I think it's gonna be a really short video first. Uh, to do both of them, we need to go to this page, i18 next browser language detector. So we are gonna use this one. So if we go to the, our text editors we made in our last video. So if you didn't watch that our last videos, you can just go to the Git repository I wrote the below. So you can go to my Git repository and download it, that file, or just clone it, and then start from there. So if we come in here, we did all the configuration for i18 next. So we will write some code in here. And first we go to the page for i18 next in here, fragile language detector. So uh, by using this library, we're gonna uh, detect our browser language. So there will be a lot of ways that we can get the language from our browser. One way will be the cookie or and there is a local storage and navigator and query string. So in here, uh, what we are going to use is the query string and the navigator because we are already using the local storage and in our last video. But if you want to use the cookie, you can just use the cookie. So I'm going to let you see how to use this feature so if we go down a little bit uh, we already is the import the language detectors in our last video so if we flip back to our text editor in here we are already using the language detector but we didn't use this so in detail so first we uh, flip back over to the page in here so first we are gonna just bring this part we want to give options for this library so we will bring this one and then we put this one in here options we put this one in here and then we, we come down a little bit more uh, we need to put this one inside the init init is in here so we put the detection and option here option is this one uh, i'm going to explain about this option more in detail uh, so in here so this order means so we are going to get the browser language from query string and cookie and local storage in this order and when we find the browser language in query strings we will use the lng so if we come back in here so we will in here we are gonna using the an lng and in if we want to have the english in here uh, but first we need to save this one so if we want to have a call so we will have the call so if we want to have chinese so we will write chi after question mark and lng 
this is how we set our browser language with the query string so so if we come in here in the cookie so we go to the performance uh, uh, we go to application and here we already have uh, in, inside the cookie in here so we type the i18 we, we this one i18 next and english so but the, it will first define uh, from the query so that's that's why even though we just put i18 next inside the cookie so this one works so but if we just uh, delete this part oh. so cookie become first so we come in here and then we are going to change the cookie again in here maybe we are going to korean and then in here yeah it becomes korean here so um, um, same as the the local series also same as these two so if we put this one inside the local series it will be like that so now we want to get this from the navigator so navigator needs to be the first and then we come in here right now my browser so default language is the english so first i'm gonna just um, delete the cookies and the local storage and in here ah uh, right now I i'm sorry is my browser's default language is not english my browser's default language is the korean so i'm gonna let you see the, which browser language i have right now so if i click the um, language and the language in here i have the korean one in first so if i change it into the english English is the first for my browser language, so I back to our website and we're gonna just uh, delete everything, delete our culture from the local storage and cookie, and then if we just refresh it, yeah, we have English. Even though we click the Korea and we will have Korean in here, but we clear all for the cache and then we yeah refresh page uh, we have the browser default languages language so if you want to know more about the i18 next so you can just uh, you can uh, open the console panel and then you can just see here so there is a detection detection is the parts that we just uh, put in here so if you change it in here so it will be also change the detect detection parts also will be changed. So now the order the from the navigator and H tab and pass and subdomain. And when we look up some navigator or just a cookie or local storage, yeah, we, we need to find this text I18 next or I18 next language. So so if you see this part more in detail, yeah, you are gonna you're gonna use i18 next library more flexibly so if you have more questions about i18 next you can just uh, leave the comment below and i'm gonna reply to that so thank you for watching this video again and see you later thank you